Hi everyone, it's Sister. Today my video is going to be about where I grow my fells in my house and a few other things because I've had some people ask me some questions so I just thought that I would group all of my plants together today. They don't always stay here all together but they get placed throughout my house for different reasons and just for privacy reasons I'm not going to go through my whole house so I bought them into some places that I can video. So this is my table where I usually sit and I do my videos right beside my ah, coffee machine. <laughs> now so this fell here has been out in the laundry where it's cold and you can probably tell compared to a lot of my other fells her leaves are a much darker colour. She only gets morning light out there and it's really much cooler out in my laundry. I'm really trying to make her spike. Just about all my others are in spike and she's taking a long time. But there again it's quite possible that she flowered for the longest time last season when I had her. Because she's one of the ones that I've had since October 2017. She was a birthday present from a friend along with another fowl that I have that also has spikes on it. So these were my sort of pink marshmallow ones that actually had the botrytis on them. So they usually stay in my bedroom, plus they've flowered. And I'm just going to see if their spikes will do any more. If they don't, I'll chop the spikes off and let them rest for the rest of the year. So this was the one that I use as my little icon. And that's the one that I was given for Mother's Day by my son. The one at the back here is the really, really weird shaped one that I got in my internet order. Um, but what's really good about this one is that it's got a flower spike. No new leaves, still all the cut back leaves, still the weird discolorations. But that's okay. So my next one here was the other pink marshmallowy one. So my plants today have come out to try and sunbathe, although the sun is not really cooperating. Oh, we'll just go back to this one here for a minute. So today it's just after 2pm. My house has 55% humidity in it, which has gone down a lot because the temperature has warmed up. And inside it's 22 degrees. Outside they promised us a high of... 14 which I don't think we've got to we'd be lucky if we're 12 or 13 although there is some sunshine out there and blue sky it took a long time to warm up so here we have oh, that lighting's really bad this is my elite one so she's sitting there getting some sun on her roots and a baby that is a full phalaenopsis, but it is just in the baby stage. One of my minis. Now, another reason that um, they are placed here is this is definitely the best light in my all of my house. The ones with the spikes facing towards the window stay that way until all of their flowers are set to make sure that the flowers set towards the sunlight. Um, when I come home from work, it's probably just on dark at the moment because we're at the end of winter. So I actually will show you my lighting. Is I have these weird bulbs up here. And I've taken off my lampshade so that it's got those bright daylight bulbs in them. So I come home and they probably get about another uh, six till midnight, six hours worth of sun. So that's the kind of bulb that I use there. They're almost going out of fashion here in New Zealand. So I keep buying them so that I can have plenty of them. Now somebody asked me about photosynthesizing and the light on my roots. Because I quite often have my plants in decorative containers to hold them up straight. But this is my way of getting around. Um, letting my plants get some sun onto their roots. Now please remember here our sun is very um, bright it's we have a great big ozone hole in the ozone layer over New Zealand so when our sunlight does come it can be really really burning and sharp but we're in the middle of winter here so my temperatures are not hot my plants aren't getting sunburnt they're sitting behind if you can see a net curtain 
So this is my beautiful big sprawly one that still has a couple of flowers and she's allowed to face this way because her flowers are already set. And yes, one of her flowers is set in the wrong direction. So my mini, my beautiful big one that now has six gorgeous flowers. So my weather just naturally creates quite a bit of humidity, but somebody else asked me about how I create extra humidity if I want to, especially in summer, I absolutely have to. I have these little TV dinner dishes that I put pebbles in that you can use in a fish aquarium, and usually they're just filled up with a bit of water underneath there just to keep it damp and keep the water rising. I can do the same in pots if I want to for my minis if they're not sitting by the rest of the plants. That's how I kind of deal with giving them some humidity is under that little layer of pebbles they'll have some extra moisture. My nice calico one. My lemon one. And because all of these have still got buds they're all sitting here out to the light. Even my little rescue one that's still sitting in its fertilizer water. Yes, it is still alive. It only has three leaves. I do take it out of the water occasionally because its leaf is getting quite dehydrated. But just to dry the root out a little and then I pop it back in the water that looks like it needs changing. But yes, it's still alive. That one there, the yellow one, was considered a, a rescue with all the strange leaves. So over here sitting in the sunshine, if there is any, is a couple of my rescues. That was a mini. It's got three tiny little leaves. So yes, even though today they're all sitting out in the sun, they do go to various places within my house. So I've said most of the minis are in my bedroom. Um, the baby plants stay here in my lounge and go wherever I can get the most sun for them. Uh, remembering I'm away at work five days, sometimes six days of the week. So I open up this windowsill for the ones that are sitting here. And, sorry, I open up the curtain for the ones that are sitting here. And give them as much daylight as I can, but I'm always awake till late at night. So these ones here um, that have all the flowers set, they can go wherever I like them to be. Um, here's one that no one has seen yet, that little one with the limey green leaves. This is a new mini, along with my other pinky mini. Some white ones, that one being my favourite white one. one being a white one with yellow and right down to my still looking rather sad rescue but this one needs a completely separate video all of her own so basically I move them around my house I bring them out on a nice sunny day to let their roots photosynthesize if I want them to they get light in the evening as well and they take up half of my lounge and my dining table too, by the way. <laughs> I'm so lazy I don't dine at my dining table. <laughs> I sit down on the couch. So that is my fowls. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like my video or you want to leave me a comment, either way, just pop it down below and write me a comment and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks everybody. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.